close your eyes. I'm closing. Tell me what comes into your mind. I see, I see a big pile of trash called Disney Star Wars. I see a bunch of Disney Star Wars projects that are a bunch of cringe. And my God, they have terrible writing. I see a franchise that Disney refuses to let go of because all they see are dollar signs and ESG in their eyes. Somehow Palpatine returned. <laughs> Hello, Star Wars weekend fans. How are you doing? My God, Disney have released the trailer for The Acolyte. And if you know me, I've said this in past videos, ever since Ray Palpatine. Ray Skywalker. <laughs> Ray Skywalker, whatever the fuck her name is, gave that lightsaber to Luke and Luke threw it over his shoulder. I have never given two flying fucks about Star Wars. For me, that was where Star Wars began to go down. It was after that that I desired to watch anything Star Wars again, just it reached an all-time low. But why am I making a video right now about the Acolyte? It's because unlike projects like Obi-Wan Kenobi or The Mandalorian or even Us Oka, I don't know. I felt like those ones had characters who were worth doing a story around. The Acolyte is set a hundred years before The Phantom Menace. And from the trailer, all I see is a big pile of trash. A big pile of ESG trash. That, that's all I see. And to make it worse, it's being headlined by who? Leslie Headland. My God, why would you give this show to this woman of all people? Personal assistant of Harvey Weinstein as Leslie Headland is who you're giving the show to. What I dislike the most are the things that she has worked on in the past. Look at what she has worked on in the past. Filmography about last night. Sleeping with other people. The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. Holy Jesus! What is that? What the fuck is that? What the fuck is this? She has worked on Smilf, which I clicked on earlier on before I tried to film this. And I saw that it means single MILF. Other great projects like Russian Doll, Single Drunk Females, and Dying for Sex. Oh my God! That's who you're giving a Star Wars show to. How is this not going to be a big pile of trash if you're giving it to this chick? I mean... Her history shows that she's not a person built to get to this type of audience. And I just hate how on the nose the entire trailer is with its messaging. These younglings, I just love how diverse they are. You, you see this one youngling who's <coughs> Asian, then they show you the black youngling, and then they show you the youngling who's an alien and can't close his eyes. I don't know why he's not closing his eyes. But I like the fact that the youngling is asked, what do you see? And one of them says, balance. How the fuck do you see balance, kid? Please don't try and make it look like these younglings are deep and wise. Master Skywalker, there are too many of them. What are we going to do? They're children, so when you tell me that they're asked to close their eyes and then they're they are saying, I see life, I see balance. How the fuck do you see balance? I see fire. Okay, that one must be an Ed Sheeran fan. But I like the way he says, I see fire. Then they cut to Carrie Ann Moss, who is obviously going to be a strong woman. And then we have a scene of a white woman fighting a black woman. Balance like the yin and yang symbol <laughs> and my god the choreography here is so bad 
I don't know if it's Karian Moss who has become older or she's just doing this for the money and she's like she doesn't she doesn't want to give a proper good for performance. The fighting here is very stiff. It looks like they are dancing. It looks it looks more like a fast-paced dance from just how stiff they are. Ah, the strong woman indeed. And then someone proceeds to say someone is killing Jedi. And it doesn't make sense. What do you mean it doesn't make sense that someone is killing Jedi? I thought the Jedi were supposed to be like guardians and protectors. If you are a guardian and protector, obviously someone's trying to kill you. Am I missing something? I don't know. Maybe my disconnect from Star Wars has made me forget what the Jedi, what the Jedi were all about. But I'm not surprised that someone is trying to kill. It, it shouldn't be a surprise that someone is trying to kill the Jedi when they are at the height of their power. And <laughs> I don't know what this dude from Squid Game is doing here, but ESG score has to ESG score. We get to see more diverse fights. This show just looks pointless. Especially when this one character says, this isn't about good or bad. This isn't about good or bad. Ah. Uh, Star Wars has always been about good versus bad. There's always been a clear cut line. Oh, then she says this is about power. And who is meant to? Who is meant to wield it, right? That's what she says. It is about power. And who is allowed to use it? Yeah, who is allowed to use it? I know who is allowed to use it. A strong woman. <laughs> Jeez, man. Just when you thought that the Star Wars franchise has been put through enough with all its bad shows, ah, we are going to have one of the most ESG, most attempting to panda, most diverse show ever. This, this will be a gigantic flop. It will be a gigantic flop. I remember when I started this channel, I tried reacting to Obi-Wan Kenobi. And at that time, I didn't think Obi-Wan Kenobi was going to be trash. It was trash, but I, when I started doing the reactions, I didn't think it was going to be trash. But this one, even before you even see episode one, you just you just know it's going to be trash. Anyone who cannot see the trash fire about to happen in the Acolyte is either not a genuine Star Wars fan. And when I say genuine Star Wars fan, I mean you didn't start back in the day when Star Wars was at its, at its peak authenticity you're either yeah so you're not either a genuine star wars fan you're not a, you, you you're probably one of those disney consumers who consume anything disney or you don't know you haven't done your research about this show to see that it's just going to be a, a bunch of work propaganda anyway probably i'll do a review because i like sitting through sh shitty shows Smash like and subscribe. Tell me your thoughts on the Acolyte. I may I just see a huge pile of trash waiting to happen. Uh, but tell me what you think. I'll see you in the next one.